Do you play Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat 1? Well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content. Let's go ahead and get into these cameos. What is Johnny Cage's biggest gimmick? What does Johnny Cage want to do in a fight? Well, first of all, he wants to kick your trash. But secondly, the main gimmick that Johnny Cage has is, of course, his hype oh, gauge. Come on. You want to get that up as fast as possible, as much as possible. Because <laughs> who doesn't love these combos, man? So how do we do that? How can we get our hype meter up as fast as possible, as much as possible? Well, you can do that at their special moves, obviously, and hold this dance and build our hype gauge. But if you're facing a fast opponent, they might be able to get up and react, whether it be with a teleport or a cameo, and stop you in your tracks. So you want to use a cameo that allows you to do so without the worry of your opponent. So my first choice is actually Frost. So we can freeze our opponent mid-combo, get our hype meter up, and they continue to pressure. And by the time that's done, I am. We got our hype gauge up. What's also a really good tactic is to use Frost back cameo move, the Frost Ball. And while that's going out there, our opponent doesn't want to approach us. So we just use that time to get our hype gauge up. With all the Frost can do, she's a great option for Johnny Cage, in my opinion. With the same tactics being applied to using Sub-Zero as a cameo as well, freezing our opponent, going in with the hype gauge, and then continuing the pressure. As you saw, we were able to get our hype gauge up and continue the combo before our opponent was even unfrozen. Just a very simple and easy way to get your hype gauge up as fast as possible. Plus, Cameo Sub-Zero makes you projectile invulnerable, allowing you that time to get your hype gauge up without the fear of being zoned out. Though I absolutely love Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat 1, the one thing that he lacks in is the projectile department, and Mataro is a great choice to replace that and fill that void. Because not only do we get our projectiles out there, now we have the time and the pressure that our opponent has to stay there and blocking. while we we stay behind Mataro and get our hype gauge up. So it's a great way just to pressure your opponent and get that up as fast as possible. And because Johnny Cage really wants to get in your face, you can also use Mataro's reflect and hold it and walk towards your opponent without the fear of being zoned out. Then once you're in their face, go for the combos. If your opponent is trying to zone you out, unfortunately, you as a character don't have any projectiles yourself. So Mataro offering a teleport is great because they put you right in your opponent's face, right where Johnny Cage wants to be. Though I love Mataro's projectile for pressure and giving us time to do our hype gauge, it's not quite as fast as you might want it to be. So to replace that, I like to use Serena as well. She gives you two awesome projectile options. One is with just one projectile that's super fast, which Johnny Cage needs some form of projectile. Or we can use her back cameo, of course, for combo extension and projectile game as well. And Johnny Cage can be an absolute menace in the corner. So throwing Serena out there to drain your opponent's bar while you just go absolutely AWOL on them. It's such a crazy big brain play, man. These are just my cameo recommendations for Johnny Cage. Let me know down below, guys, who would you pair Johnny Cage up with and why? Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and take it one step at a time.